vulnerability as a dark emotion. You know, there are a lot of people who talk about light, emo you know, positive emotions, negative emotions, dark emotions, light emotions. We think of vulnerability as a dark emotion. We think of it as the core of fear and shame and grief and disappointment, uncertainty, things that we do not want to feel, right? Things that I don't want to be vulnerable because that means I'm afraid. That means I'm uncertain. That means I'm, 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 I'm at risk, I'm exposed, I'm, I'm in grief. So what we do is we armor up and we say, I do not want to slip into these dark emotions. I will not let myself be vulnerable. But here's what I learned from the research and certainly put into motion in my own life that was the most life-changing is that vulnerability is the center of difficult emotion. But it's also the birthplace of every positive emotion that we need in our lives. Love, belonging, joy, empathy. How many of you would agree that we're in a serious empathy deficit in our culture today? Totally, right? No vulnerability, no empathy. In a culture where people are afraid to be vulnerable, you can't have empathy. Your empathy is not a default response. If you share something with me that's difficult, in order for me to be truly empathic, I have to step into what you're feeling. And that's vulnerable. So there can be no empathy without vulnerability. 